So this is a review for the flex deck foam decking that I put on this sunfish. And now you can install this on any boat, but I'm specifically recommending this for any small sailboat or sunfish. And here's the, the pros and cons of this product. So first of all, here it is. And I have a video of installing this decking. It comes all the way around here to the back by the tiller. The cons for this is that it gets dirtier or at least it's harder to keep clean than the regular decking. So you can see there's kind of those marks here for my shoes. It does wipe off fairly decent, but there are still some kind of tracks there from the shoes. I don't think that's the worst thing, but it's uh, just something to keep in mind. I know some people like their boat completely 100% clean, and it's, it's largely about presentation to some folks, and that's nothing wrong with that. Uh, there is a use to that as well. You're not grinding things, you know, you're not grinding dirt in and all, and it, it just keeps things from wearing out as quick. I do try to keep mine fairly clean, but I'm not super worried about some marks on it. Second downside is that, like I said, there's these, you know, there's a couple pieces that have to go on here in order to fill the whole deck. And that's, I guess, not a big deal, but you see right here, some dirt collected in there. Yeah, that's probably a product of me just not cutting my joint perfectly. And so, you know, you get a little bit of a dirt collection there. Again, I've, I don't know, I think the good outweighs. So the positives about this is that one, it's, it's way more comfortable. So sitting on this foam where you have a little cushion here is so much more comfortable than the hard fiberglass. So I've been in this thing, let's see, this is day four. And so I've sailed 67, like 75 miles. You know, you're, you're spending a lot of time on this thing. So you spend a lot of time sitting, uh, kneeling on it, kind of standing on it, uh, stretching out, laying down, all these different positions. And it's a lot of time, okay? And so I've noticed a big difference from other trips where I just have the fiberglass, and, you know, my, my butt gets tired quickly. Uh, with this, it's still feeling pretty good. I'm not saying that sitting in this position, not being able to move around as much is totally comfortable, but it's way better than it used to be. Uh, the other thing is that in my clip where I was going through those enormous waves around the point of Isle Royale, I didn't slip around at all, you know, and, and you won't necessarily see that in the video, but I mean, I was, I was, in there, uh, stable, I was not moving around. Um, the other thing is when I put my rope on here to keep it uh, available to grab when needed, it this doesn't move anymore. Before, it used to be I would hit a wave and it would kind of bounce and this rope would sometimes slide back off into the cockpit. It just stays where I put it. I will say I did not have a chance to block up my tiller before I left and so it, it's still rubbing here, but you'll see there is a little indent, but it's not It's not like wearing it out. It's not taking chunks out of it 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 just it seems to be holding up very well, even though it is compressing it a little bit So I think this is really sturdy stuff and when I look around here, there are no edges peeling up It's been getting splashed and pounded in the water for days now there's no sign of it peeling up, and so I don't expect to have any issue with that either. Plus, I like how there's a lot of color options, and so I think it matches the boat nicely. For the price and for a couple hours to put it on, I think it is well worth the money. Glad you're watching my videos. I hope you're enjoying them. 
and don't forget to hit the like subscribe share it with other folks who you might think need some padding all right thanks click and watch the video on your screen right now to see the padding being installed